Hello guys, Martins here and welcome in another tutorial. As you see, it's something different, it's not Photoshop. Today I started with new series of tutorials with Sony Vegas tutorials and also soon I started with Lightroom tutorials. So I hope you guys enjoy my new series of tutorials. And what can I say? Uh, today it's uh, only a basic tutorial. It's about the very basic color correction on your video. But in the future I want to focus on intro tutorials and stuff like that. And please leave a comment if you want, uh, what you think about uh, my new idea. And okay, let's start. Here is a random video, as you see. And you have two ways to edit your colors. First is uh, click here on video effects. And here you have all the tools to edit your video or you can click on this small icon on your video called event fx and now all the tools are here i prefer uh, i prefer to have my all options right here but whatever you want i unclick my mute because i don't need to and i always started my color editing from color correction, click default and drag it to your video. And here you have few parameters, low, medium and high. I only use medium and here I add some warm color. As you see, it's a little different. The second tool I always use is color curves the same click and drag it to your video and using curves add some lights and contrast now it looks so much better for me also you can change your channel to red green or blue i use blue to add more yellow color It's a huge difference. You can use saturation adjust, but I think it destroy uh, the natural look on your video. So I don't wanna use it. And then use sharpen uh, to make your, of course, to make your video more sharpen. Uh, sharpen gives you some better quality look and something like that. And for this, I uh, use light. But on this video, as you see, it can be a little too strong, so I change my amount to 200, not too much. But it still looks great. And the last tool I usually use to video editing is soft contrast. I only want a vignette, but it doesn't matter what you choose right now. I click this, drag it to my video. And now I don't want to discontrast. You can change your strain change if you want, but it's not necessary also. So then click vignette. Exterior effect, change to black. Softness, drag it to 50, it's max. Corner radius. at 100 and then change your strength to to 70 or 60 you can change your width and height if you want and okay now I click split screen view and look how it looks at the end. I think the difference is huge. Uh, my video looks so much better right now. It gives you some film effect and or something like this. 
And okay, it's all. So I hope you guys enjoy my uh, Sony Vegas tutorial. I hope you like this video. Feel free to leave your opinion if you want. And of course, you can leave some ideas for my Sony Vegas tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.